In this video, guys, we're going to talk about the two types of judokas, the nerd and the fighter. What's up, guys? Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. Here, we're all about a smarter and more sustainable approach to uh, fitness and martial arts for older guys. Now. I've been criticized for being a fighter. I know for most people, like it's it, being a fighter is actually like cool and a good thing. In the judo world, it's because you kind of have to, when I talk about judo, and sometimes I mispronounce words, like I make mistakes in regards of uh, the technique, right? The name of the, the actual technique and stuff like that. Somebody actually mentioned it on YouTube once, you know, you should do more your research and all. And definitely, I think that, uh, that that person had a valid point and I do make an effort for it, but I want to explain to you guys how I see things. I'm not a black belt yet. To get to your black belt, you actually have to pass an exam. You have to do a kata exam and then you have to demonstrate techniques, you know, where like there's a bunch of judges right in front. And then from there, they, they tell you, uh, you know, this technique, that technique, and you have to demonstrate it on your partner. I will have to learn all the nomenclature, meaning all the names of, uh, of the techniques. When that time comes, and it was supposed to come, well, you know. And I was about to sit down. I was already in the process, but it kind of fell to the wayside because of this whole quarantine thing. I'm a little bit less focused on that. I'm 41, but I'm still actively competing. And that's my focus. I believe that developing skill, fighting skill, okay, is actually much harder than sitting down and memorizing a couple of techniques and understanding how they work. That's that's my excuse, so to speak, for not knowing uh, everything that I should know and me maybe being not as knowledgeable. Let's get back to uh, the differences between the fighter and the nerd. The fighter fights, doesn't care about any of that, names of the techniques and all the katas. All he likes to do is fight because he enjoys it. What's good about the fighter is that he knows that he had to, he adapted everything to himself and to his opponent so that he could actually perform. The problem is if you're just a fighter, what happens when it's time for you to pass on your knowledge? You don't know the names of the techniques, you don't know where they come from, you don't know the katas, you're not gonna be able to pass on judo, which is the art you've been practicing, right? And the thing is, it's, it's, it's nice for you to, uh, to have your style and you can be like the world, uh, an Olympic champion all that, but if you don't know any of this, how are you gonna pass it down? Because everybody's different. Not everyone's gonna have the same skill set as you, the same advantages, the same this, the same that. You have to have that textbook knowledge so that that way you can present it properly in an orderly fashion and all. And then from there, well, of course, you're gonna have your spin on it, but then you can easily adapt it uh, to, you know, who, to your students. Now, Let's go over to the nerd. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, beautiful! Generally speaking, sucks at competing. I mean, he's not bad. He can execute technique and all that, and he understands everything, but he's not really a competitor. He's not, he's not really a, a natural athlete, so to speak. He focuses more on the academic side of things, the textbook side of things, the history of judo, and he knows like the structure of it all. Like, okay, you have to learn this, this amount of techniques to get to your yellow belt, to your orange belt, and you need guys like that. You do, you do, you do, right? And that's great. The thing is, he lacks is that sometimes what happens with the nerd is that they don't want to fight, they don't want to compete. Uh, it's hard getting your ass kicked, you know? It's demoralizing, actually. <laughs> so they don't do it. You don't fight, you don't compete. Then the problem is that you're not complete because the way I see it is that, okay, you might know all this textbook stuff, but how are you going to, uh, you don't really know until you, you get into fighting, right? Because it's different. Textbook and application, he still has to understand it enough so that he can actually teach better. In both cases, right, the fighter will be able to teach better if he understands textbook. The, the nerd will be able to teach better if he understands practical application, which is fighting. Some nerds, they, they even get their black belt without really competing. Because when you compete, you accumulate points. So here where I am, you need 120 points in competition and then from there you can go do uh you can do your your um your black belt exam right the gokyo and the katas and boom you get your black belt if you don't like to compete 
there's ways about it. You could accumulate points throughout the year. Being more involved in, in, in the sport of judo in different ways, you could be a, a ref, you know, you could ref for tournaments. It could take you longer, right? But you could still end up with your black belt at one point. There's a balance to be made, right? In my opinion. Then of course, ideally in a club, you wanna have these two. You could be a hybrid of these, which is would be the ideal scenario. But even in, in a club though, if you have, you have nerves and then you have fighters, well, if both of them get along and they don't like kinda uh, look down on each other, so to speak, they can actually help each other out. They can complement each other very well because you need, you need both, right? And both of them would become better teachers. But that's the way I see it. Uh, myself right now, like honestly, I'm, I'm more of a fighter competitor but I definitely will get into learning all the names and the techniques, the katas and stuff like that, which I find really interesting, by the way. I did Kung Fu guys for like two years uh, when I was younger. And two years of Kung Fu, it was uh, Hungar Sulam Kung Fu. The animals. Everything is Kung Fu. I learned so many forms. They call it forms instead of katas. In two years, I think I knew about a hundred of them, man. It's not a big deal for me to learn like uh, these, these, these judo katas. Okay, so that being said, guys, like, subscribe, and of course, comment below. What do you guys think? What's your experience uh, regarding this? And see you in the next one. Peace.